that if we can do blitzing, that's great. But if you can get that pressure without the blitz and committing that extra defender, that's going to help out that secondary and that linebacking core so much more, especially when we face more of these teams down the road that continue to have these dual threat quarterbacks that can throw and run. Inefficient 16 for 24, so he had another good ball game. And the other big thing is the defense. I thought the defense played great, held FAU to 13 points. So there's a lot of positives and there's some mistakes that were made with the penalties and some of the turnovers, but you have to get practice and you have to show consistently that you can run the ball and if you can't run the ball in the red zone against a team like FAU it's not going to happen next week the offense is going to beat up on some of these bad conference USA teams but anytime you face a solid defense we're not going to do well because we don't have a running game and we really had a tough time today because we had the three turnovers so when you have three turnovers and can't run the ball that's a recipe for disaster it's to run what he wants to run and the other thing is they don't have a quarterback I mean, Pete Thomas and Brandon that's, Mitchell, that's the they, don't, they don't have a quarterback. They don't have anybody that they can rely on. And next year, they have the Florida transfer coming in, which is going to help out. But this year's just been a disaster because they've had no consistency. He would have watched the film from last week and saw <laughs> what worked and tried to do it again. Because yep. when you throw the ball every play, that's really almost playing into our defensive strength because that's what we go against every day in practice. So if yep. you have a running back or offensive line that can run the ball, that's going to be you know something that we're not used to seeing. And I think that was evident last week against Navy because we were not used to a ground game that they had, and especially the option. I think also, too, we're going to need that running attack, especially when it gets into third and short situations or down at the goal line because our running backs did a great job today, but sometimes you just have to line up in the eye formation and pound the ball and get a yard or two, and that's a lot tougher when you're in the shotgun. It's just disappointing because there are a few opportunities that East Carolina could have come in and won this game. I think it really just boiled down to the time of possession being 36 yeah. minutes for Virginia Tech compared to 23 for East Carolina. That's an advantage for ECU because if we can't <laughs> see their numbers, then Florida Atlanta can't see their numbers, so they don't know who they're supposed there to be matched go. up against. There. That should have the chance to take that big step up, and we're not getting that opportunity. And really all you know, the fans can do at this point is hope that the administration can put us in the position for the next realignment or next next opening in the Big East to get in. And then this team just has to continue to win and hope that'll be enough when that time comes. Well, and all those mistakes that we did see today that we got away with are going to have to be gone or minimized next week because they're going to be playing a top 10 team. And, and really for the next three games at Southern Miss and North Carolina, you're going to be facing a higher level of, of competition. So this team has talent and we have guys returning from suspension. Virginia Tech shut East Carolina down was because they pr played press man with their corners and they just shut our wide receivers down. And we weren't used to that because we're used to playing against soft zones. Virginia Tech with their strong secondary just put their guys up and they're really the only team that's done that this year. He, he, um, this is kind of a bad week to have a bye because you're getting some more momentum and after a great victory today, you're going to have to wait two more weeks to play. want to make a step in the right direction each and every week and hopefully by the end of the year you'll have a great record and go to a bowl game and contend for championships. So that's something that this team needs to focus on is just the old cliche getting better every day and making sure that you know you focus on one game at a time and they got the first one out of the way and now it's on to south carolina